La Familia is back. And by Familia, I mean the Garcias, the fictional Latino family played by actual Latino actors. The show highlights a San Antonio family going on vacation in Mexico and all the trials and tribulations that go along with that. If the show sounds familiar, well, it's because it's a reboot of the early 2000s hit show, The Brothers Garcia. Yesterday, I caught up with the show's creator, Jeff Valdez, along with some of the sh stars of the show, Nitzia Chama, Robert Gonzalez, and Charlie Foster. But here's a quick look at the reboot, The Garcias. Really feeling the feels of mi gente, the people of Mexico. George, you know you're half Puerto Rican. Yeah, man. And we are so excited to be joined by the cast and creator of the Garcias right here, the crosswords yeah. Yeah. of the universe. Forty second, baby. baby. So, you know, the Brothers Garcia was a hit reboot with the Garcias. Why now? Well, uh, because Latinos are invisible on television and we just want to show a family that's a normal family. It's a slice of life show about a Latino family being normal and not the usual Hollywood cookie cutter stereotypes. And I have to tell you, as an actual born and bred Latina from these mean streets of New York City, it is so wonderful to see real life Latinos struggling with the things that everyday people do. And as part of the Latino experience, right, I'm Puerto Rican born and raised here. I've got one foot here and one foot there, which is what your character struggles with. So tell us a little bit about your character and what you're trying to identify with in this reboot. Yeah, so. Uh George is in Mexico, uh, you know, with his beautiful wife uh, right over here, uh, and he wants to get to his roots. He wants to learn more about the Mexican side of his family, and even though he is, you know, also uh, uh, Puerto Rican as well. Uh, I, I knew I liked you for a reason. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm actually 100% Cuban, though, which is so it's it's, it's different. Uh, but I think we identify, you know, we it's the same, you know, Caribbean Isle uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, so George is, is trying to understand his identity, and I think that's it's a difficult thing to do, and I think anybody who's been a child of immigrants mm -hmm. has, has, has dealt with that. Yeah. You know, w what am I in this country? You know, right. to some people, I'm not, you know, uh, you know, Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever, enough. To other people, uh, I, that's all I am. Right. And I think I have personally struggled with that my entire mm -hmm. life, and so I feel like I found some healing in the show, and I, I hope some other people can too, and, and have their sense of, of normalcy confirmed, and to just realize that you know it's, it, it, it doesn't matter what you are, you are you you, you are all of these cultures, right. and and it, it's it's an added boon to you, it's not a burden. And right. by the way, it's not just a Latino show; it's right. a show for any family. Right. You will see this family and say, "I relate to this family." Right. Charlie is like part of our family. We call him Carlitos. I'm white. And I love it. Charlie is here You're, representing the entire white race today. I so. was going to say, Charlie, thank you for being the, the token white dude in the show. <laughs> to do it. It's a career. What can I say? Just um, to have the job. Tell yeah. about your character. Yeah, my character's uh, name is Kit, and he's sort of like the assistant therapist working for uh, Mending Fences, where uh, Bobby's character and his brother go, um, to sort of like repair their relationship and it's that you know therapist thing where it's almost like sadistically positive <laughs> like it's helping you absolutely but like really enjoying the tea really enjoying making them do weird things right. it's um yeah and I'm I think I am the only positive white male character in the show <laughs> congratulations yeah, and the award goes to speaking of positivity <laughs> thank you for your struggle yeah. Nitzia, I cannot believe how you've brought so much light to this reboot. Um, we got to see a sneak peek of when you found out that you got this role. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, first of all, thank you so much for giving us this time because this uh, makes us visible to the people, to the audience. And it was just amazing. You have the reaction and it's just a dream. I always say this is a dream, but in real life. So we're uh, living the dream awake. Yeah. So I think this is a beautiful opportunity to portray just a family that uh, shows empathy, love, values. And you can watch the show with your kids, with your parents, with your grandparents, and you're going to enjoy it so much. Especially in this time, we're facing like difficult times. And it's very beautiful when you see something positive, when you can laugh, when you can ident identify with someone. So I'm really grateful, especially with uh, Jeff, because he gave us the opportunity just to portray people, human beings, with a heart, with a soul, with no labels, no stereotypes. So this is very wonderful, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it so much. So thank you so much. And I got super excited when they gave me like the news, like, oh my God, yes! 
<laughs> we did that with all the cast members. Yeah. yeah, all of them. We we told we lied to them. We said, oh, we just need you to read the role one more time, and then we recorded them and told them they got the role. It was delightful. You two worked together the first time round. Yeah. What was it like this second go round? It was so weird because Bobby can drink now. Because <laughs> when I first worked him, he was like a 13 year old boy, and I'm like, him a drink box? Yeah, I would sneak him a beer once in a while. But uh, no, no, we, uh, uh, it was it was weird when he came to the house the first time. I'm like, oh my God, you're old enough to drink. It was it was, but it was fun because then we sat and had a couple cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple. That's uh, that's uh, very gracious. Uh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> It was it was crazy to come back to this this character who, in a lot of ways, was a lot like me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in the second go around, I just I could still be George. I just had to figure out how to be a, a husband and a father because I'm I'm neither of those things. Um, so I just you know with Nietzsche, I just I realized how much I wanted to support her uh, after we we spoke and you know I realized we were on the same mission. I was like, okay, I'm, I just want to uplift her. I just want to support her in everything that she does. Maybe that's what being a husband is like. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's at least something I can grab onto. Parents, yeah. I have to say, you're good fake good parents, parents on TV. And we happen to be millionaires, so we <laughs> had to get used yeah. to that. You know, just like, oh, okay, that was, we woke that was up tough. like in paradise every day, yeah. right? <laughs> and today, Cinco de Mayo. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Well, thank you all so much for joining us on these main streets of New York City. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and thanks to you, thank you. for putting us front and center. We appreciate cool. it. We are, we are we're trying to change the narrative, and this show really, I think, helps contribute to that, and hopefully we'll get even more. Here, here. And please watch it. Yes. Every Thursday, HBO Max.